right, good afternoon. My name is Darnell Brown. I'm Chief Operating Officer for the City of Cleveland. I'm here to give you an update on the City of Cleveland's effort uh, in finding this snow event. Um, we've had trucks out since uh, yesterday evening. We have about 72 trucks uh, total in our snow fleet. Uh, 12 of them are down, six for minor repairs. Uh, road conditions currently are fair to poor. Uh, that is uh, due in large part to the, uh, the wind that continues to gust uh, as quickly as we're plowing. Uh, we're finding out that roads are becoming somewhat partially snow covered again and so uh, we'll continue uh, on our primaries and secondary roads which is what we're working on uh, at the current time uh, until we can get them in a better condition. Uh, we'll continue this uh, through our first and second shift uh, working uh, our, again, primaries and secondaries. Uh, at the third shift, which is probably around four o'clock, we'll make a determination as to whether or not we'll be going into uh, our, um, our residentials uh, to begin to give some relief in those areas. Uh, currently, we have about 51,000 tons of salt on hand, and we have already started using our liquid de-icer uh, to uh, uh, make sure that uh, we're sending heated loads out uh, and that helps the, it bind to the pavement and helps it work a little bit quicker in the, with these uh, sub-zero uh, temperatures that we are finding ourselves dealing with. For the most part, uh, the west side and south side of the city of Cleveland has been hit the hardest. Uh, we have a number of drivers that are working 12-hour shifts which give us, us the ability to have some additional trucks out and so in those instances, uh, we, where we would normally have uh, 44 drivers on a, a shift, we've had up to 54 drivers uh, on a shift. But again, uh, we have uh, a number of drivers that are working uh, 12 hours on, 12 hours off, and the others are working uh, the three uh, scheduled shifts that we have. And so the second shift uh, that will be coming in, we'll have 44 trucks, 44 drivers. Third shift would be the same. Uh, we do have a parking ban in effect. It will continue to be uh, in effect until uh, further notice. Uh, it, those areas are signed and posted. Uh, so we would ask folks to um, govern themselves accordingly. If, if you're on a street or a route that has a snow parking ban, we ask that you don't park on those routes. Please, ma'am, please, sir. Uh, this evening also, we will be putting into place uh, two warming centers. We will do one east side, one west side. Uh, they will be at um, uh, Matt Zone, uh, I mean Michael Zone on the uh, west side uh, and uh, Zilma George on the east side. Uh, we also uh, will be prepared in the event that uh, we continue to have these sub-zero temperatures uh, and issues with snow. We'll be prepared to open our rec centers uh, early tomorrow morning. Uh, we will work in coordination with the school district as to when and if that call gets made. But uh, if that occurs, we will open our rec centers early. That would be probably between 7 and 8 o'clock in the morning. We'd be prepared to open them in the event that that does become uh, necessary. Just a couple other things I, I just like to make you aware of. Uh, one of the things we've advised a number of residents to do is to sign up for our code, what we call code red alerts. Uh, this allows you to get weather updates and other information from the city of Cleveland. Uh, and so the, the best way that you can do that uh, is about visiting, visiting the City of Cleveland's website, uh, city.cleveland.oh.us, and then click on the uh, code red logo. So the, the second point I would make for seniors uh, is that we do have a Cleveland Cares program. Uh, and they can sign up by contacting the Department of Aging at 216-664-2833. Uh, this is a program that uh, when they sign up, uh, they sign up for a time, a designated time, where we will call and contact them just to check on them, make sure they're okay. Uh, those folks to have seniors that are in their lives or neighbors, et cetera, we always encourage you to call and check on them or stop by and check on them to make sure that they're okay. The final point I would make uh, is we always try to encourage folks who do something to uh, prevent having problems with frozen pipes. Uh, if you want to get information on that, you can go to the uh, clevelandwater.com uh, website uh, and look up the section on how to protect uh, your home when temperatures drop. Uh, that again will have tips on what to do about uh, preventing frozen uh, pipes. So that is the update for the city of Cleveland as far as where we are right now. Uh, again, 
Uh, streets are uh, in fair to poor condition, but we expect that it will improve as the afternoon goes on and wind dissipates. Uh, we hope again to be turning into our residentials around 4 o'clock. Thank you.